This is the new LG Optimus F3 from Metro PCS. I'm just going to do a quick review, show you guys the phone, and see how we like it. First off, it's got a dual core 1.2 gig processor in there. The touchscreen is a 4 inch display. It's Gorilla Glass and true to natural color touchscreen. Turn down that brightness a little bit for you guys. First off, I love the notification bar. You've got everything you could ever want in that. Uh, you have all your quick options right up here. Of course, you have Quick Memo, which is a great way to take a screenshot. You can even jot a little note on there and save it in your gallery. Brightness bar. I love being able to control the brightness that easily. You even get a little shortcut for any of the apps you want in here. You can edit that. Add what you would like to add to it. First off, the display. I really like the display on this. The color is very bright and vibrant. Um, Size-wise, a little small for me, but I do like the form factor of it. It's got a nice sleek look to it. Honestly, it looks pretty much like the Optimus L9 that just came out. It's a little smaller, that's about it. Up top, you got your front-facing camera. Your rear-facing camera's back here, which I believe is a 5 megapixel. And you get your LED flash right next to it. The battery on this is amazing. It's got a 2460 milliamps battery. That is a really, really good battery. I would imagine most people could probably go two days without even charging this phone. You can do Wi Fi calling on this. Out of the box, it comes with Android 4.1, and it does have 4G. This runs on HSDPA Plus, which happens to be T-Mobile's 4G. I've clocked speeds as high as six, 15 or 16 megabits per second out here, download, and the upload is 6 or 7 in my area. I'm in Rhode Island. <sighs> I'm going to show you some of the menu options and features of the phone. First, right from here, you can actually pick your theme. They have two there that come with it. Optimus and Biz. You also have home, green, home screen settings. You know, this is where you can change your wallpaper, you can actually change the swipe effect, which is how one screen transitions into the next. Uh, they have a bunch of options for that. Basic, we use accordion. We're going to change it to accordion probably. Arama, layer, domino. We'll keep carousel on for now. Show you some of the wallpapers. You got your live wallpapers right here. Not too much for live wallpapers. And not too much for regular wallpapers either. You can back up your home screen the exact way that you have it with apps on the screen and everything so that you can just quickly restore it if you ever have to wipe the phone. Can't do a screenshot on this. You just gotta hit the down volume and power at the same time. Hold them until it takes a screenshot. Also you have quick memo, which you can hit up and down volume. And you can even jot a little note, make a weird smiley face, and then save it into your gallery. Well, that's my review. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my blog at MetroPhoneRepair.com. If you have any questions, anything I didn't mention, just ask. Um, Nobody's perfect. I'm bound to leave something out that you're interested in.